Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, here we go. So, this particular person that I'm talking to today has had some kind of implosion in their life. They've had some kind of implosion, okay? This implosion resulted in grief and sorrow and pain in the mind. Heartbreak, grief, sorrow, and pain. Death in reverse says that this particular person, if you haven't already, you need to, but this particular person has come to terms with this tower. They have. They've come to terms with it. They've done some inner purging, which created an internal transformation for this person. Look, there's the Four of Swords. That's the internal purging. This guy in this card has hung up this Three of Swords on the wall behind him. He's bringing stability to his mindset. He's picking up the Fourth Sword, and he is pressing on. This is this particular person. Justice comes on top of it and says, because of this, because you're not wallering in the past, because you're not crying about what happened and what shoulda, coulda, woulda, because this particular person is seeing it as justice in their life, because they were trying to build upon something that had no foundation to build upon in the first place. When it imploded, this person was all three of swords, right? Grief and sorrow and pain. But they have pulled themselves together, brought stability to their consciousness, and they are ready to push forward. And that's the justice. It's in your best interest to be accountable for the whole rest of your life, despite any kind of painful situation or circumstance that happens in your life. Patience with temperance. This particular person has tempered themselves. They are understanding that there is joy and peace in the journey, even when things don't go the way that they think that they should go. Patience is clarified by the hermit. This person has done some soul searching and some introspection. This person has sat down with whatever it is they call their higher power, and they have come to terms with the fact that they couldn't manifest what they were trying to manifest. They've had some kind of realization that their energy or their efforts were misguided in the first place, and they're coming to terms with why this couldn't manifest. Two foundations and achievements with the Four of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Wands, okay? You, you are this particular person, whomever this is that I'm speaking to, is about to step in to a whole lot of success, a whole lot of success. Why? Because of the Nine of Wands right here, because of spiritual strength. This particular person saw the implosion of what it was they were trying to build in their life, and they overcame it. They overcame it. Spiritual strength, because they saw the reality of the situation. They're like, uh 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 uh. If I'm trying to build somewhere and it keeps crashing and burning and crashing and burning, it's not for me. And this particular person walked away. And when you walked away from that, you walked straight into a great deal of success. You walked straight into universal order with the wheel of fortune, the divinely orchestrated steps of your life. This particular person said, oh, hell no. I'm not wasting that one more minute lamenting about this situation. I am going to point my mind, my energy, my intuition, my whole being towards overcoming this situation and going where my soul is telling me to go. And the wheel of fortune is like, right on, hop on, let's go, baby. Hop on, let's go. Your spiritual strength has divinely orchestrated the steps of your life. Material and spiritual prosperity, that's what's coming towards you. That's what's happening next. You are about to pop into enough material prosperity where there will be more than enough to go around to the universe. 
This is the world card. This cycle of your life has closed. This specific cycle of your life has closed because you're finally recognizing when something doesn't go the way that it should be going, that is your indication that you're not manifesting according to your soul's journey. And this person recognizes this. And because of that, a whole new cycle of their life is opening. This may include some kind of move since we have the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. Just saying. Two of Wands. Your whole future, your whole future is one step away. The Eight of Pentacles. Positive movement forward. It's exactly what it says. It's exactly what it is. Your work on your spirituality and yourself has created the momentum to catapult you the star into your path and into your purpose it has you have created the momentum the wave that is going to take you all the way sacrifice with the hangman okay sacrifice to the ten of pentacles the king of swords and the six of pentacles in reverse okay your sacrifice, six of pentacles in reverse, of doing without, okay? Your sacrifice of doing without, whatever this tower was for you, I think when you stepped out of it, you found yourself in a real low spot, possibly financially a real low spot. Maybe you didn't have a place to go, but you left anyway. Maybe you didn't have a place to work, but you stood up for yourself and you, you put your boundaries down and you said, absolutely not. Whatever it is, you didn't know how you were going to make it work when it imploded but you held steadfast, you were strong in your spirituality, you had faith in your ability to manifest, you had faith in the universal order of your life. That's the sacrifice. The doing without with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, guess what? Restored to you tenfold in your future. Tenfold. Your path, your purpose, the Ten of Pentacles, to the king of swords because you owned yourself you owned your mind you owned your truth you owned your spirituality and you said this is the way that it's going to be not this way this is the way that it's going to be this brings you to spiritual union with the two of cups could this be love it could be for some people if, if you want love it could be but more importantly the spiritual union is a is a soul relationship with someone there is a soul mate romantic or not not every soulmate is romantic okay we all have tribe members that come in and out of our lives that help orchestrate divine order okay you are about to step into spiritual union with someone to the sun that is that is beyond beyond it's just beyond it's happiness it's success it's vitality it's your path it's your purpose success divinely orchestrated steps of your life because of the sacrifice that you made you chose to put your flesh human understanding down and you chose to step into your soul's journey and your soul's understanding by not ruminating on the tower moment all kinds of beautiful happy success is about to break loose in your life the four of swords this is rest and rejuvenate the nine of pentacles independent self-sufficient financially secure to the four of pentacles kind of the same thing there's so many pentacles here this person is absolutely about to step into some kind of very very rewarding sense of well-being in their life yes they are the nine of pentacles is about owning yourself owning your power, knowing your worth. And the Four of Pentacles is about being secure and safe in your knowledge of your self-worth. All of this leads you to new beginnings with the Fool. 
brand new beginning, brand new journey, because this person didn't have to have a who, what, why, where, when, and how. This person didn't have to know exactly how things were going to shake down. This person knew in this tower that it wasn't for them, and they left it. Brand new beginning, brand new journey to the Four of Wands, which is creating for you a place of stability, safety, and peace. To the Three of Cups. Rejoice in celebration. This Three of Cups is you meeting this spiritual union over here. This Three of Cups is where you will come into union with this spiritual relationship right here. It's absolutely freaking beautiful. The Empress. This is you standing in your power. This is you absolutely knowing your power. You know how to control your mind. You know how to follow your intuition. And you're applying it through your spiritual strength. And because of that, the universe is going to rain down upon you such a beautiful existence that you can't even imagine what your life is going to look like in a year. The hanged man. Again, more sacrifice, right? More, more, more waiting, waiting. Maybe this person is saying, when is this going to happen? When is this all going to happen? It's going to happen when it happens. In the meantime, you just keep being strong. In the meantime, you keep following your intuition. You keep a check on your internal self-narrative because what you think about comes about. You keep going. Be patient and give the universe some time to work. Seven of Pentacles. This is about planning, right? Things are in the works right now, right now, right this very second. Things are in the works for you. The Knight of Swords, and it's going to come crashing in on you. It's going to happen so fast that you're going to wonder what the literal heck just happened. The Ten of Cups, all kinds of emotional fulfillment. Whatever it is you think you may have lost in that tower, just like that Ten of Pentacles, is restored to you tenfold. To the Ace of Cups, love begins new love, new self-love, new love of a job, love of a home, love of a person, new love, new emotional growth takes root in your life. Beautiful. The bottom of the deck was the third eye chakra and the magician, hand in hand. See that around his head right there? That's his third eye chakra, right? You need to pay attention to what source is telling you. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to the things that you see around you, the signs and the synchronicities. Most importantly, pay attention to your intuition because it is your ancient soul leading you, guiding you, and showing you the way. The magician says, be aware of where your mind goes because your mind creates your reality. It's the first step of manifestation. You can live any kind of reality that you want to live. You need to make sure that you are manifesting something that is worthy of the kind of life that you want for yourself and not settling because of some unhealed wounding that your whole family lineage has never been able to overcome. You, you have the power to create your own reality. This is beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with 
intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.